let me show you five cool apps that run great on any M1 Mac and can bring joy yet boost your efficiency even more. I will start with the fun ones and then move to those that will help you improve your productivity. Hey, Iskren here, but feel free to call me E. The first fun and free app is called Night Owl, which by the way is developed by a young individual called Benjamin. The app bears the slogan built for nocturnal people, which to me is a great selling point by itself. Night Owl lives on your Mac menu bar and helps you switch between light and dark mode on demand or automatically. Now we all know we can set a Big Sur to auto switch between light and dark mode upon sunset and sunrise, but Night Owl takes it one step further. First off, you can specify the exact time when you want to switch between the modes. And second, you can choose some apps to remain in the opposite mode or for example to force dark mode on the operating system while keeping all apps in light mode. As I mentioned, the app is free and if you're feeling generous, like you should, you can donate to Benjamin because we all know how much effort it takes to develop something so unique and well put together on your own. The next free app on the list is called Display Picture and it's perhaps the most useless yet visually appealing app. One that makes the old body of the new M1 MacBook Pro look very 2021 and close to what iPad Pros have to offer. This simple app does one thing only. It rounds up your display corners. That's it. Simple yet very pleasing to the eye. The app is developed by many tricks and from the looks of it, it has been in existence for a long time now, since 2007. You don't have a menu bar icon with it, nor a dot icon. It's just a tiny window that comes up and gives you the option to choose the radius of your corners. You can choose an individual corner radius if that's what you like. But to me, the gold standard with the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro is 12 points all round. The only regret with this app is that it cannot automatically start upon login when I shut down or reboot my back, which means that I have to manually trigger it. It's not that big of a deal, but it would have been nice to have this thing running straight away. By the way, I will be linking all the apps in the description below. Also, I have this absurd goal of hitting 100k subscribers by the end of 2021, which can only be done with your help. So if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind. App number three is called Bartender and it is a paid application. It costs 15 bucks and it helps you organize your taskbar. You see those three little dots hide all the menu bar junk that I don't necessarily want to see every time allowing me to display only the two menus that I care about while keeping the others tucked away and organized by my liking. Bartender allows you to create menu bar layouts that match any criteria. With the latest version, the app now offers triggers that include any change, icon matching or a script. A trigger shows menu bar items exactly when you need them. For example, it can show my Wi-Fi menu only when I'm not connected to an actual Wi-Fi network or when Time Machine is actually making a backup. To make things even cleaner, I use Bartender's own menu bar to neatly display all the items in a secondary overlay bar. There are other cool things you can do with this app, like adjusting the spacing of the items. So if you're like me and you hate clutter, stop by and check it out. Now let's move to some more productive apps. This one is a must if you are on a Mac and it's called Magnets. I've had this app for the longest of times. Magnet allows you to organize and snap your windows in predefined hot areas and size portions making window support a lot more like Windows. This app is a lifesaver when full screen apps are not enough and it works better and quicker than using macOS's integrated split full screen support, mostly because it supports shortcuts. Let's say I have two finder windows, which happens often when I want to clean up and organize my working files. All I have to do is press Ctrl Option and the arrows of my choice to quickly place the finder windows in their respective places. There's tons of other options to organize windows and to choose from, and I strongly recommend using this app. Magnet costs only $5 and it's absolutely worth it. Finally, the app of all productivity apps, Alfred. Aside from the awesome name, Alfred can speed up your workflow tremendously. Actually, I could do a separate video about this app on its own because there's that much more that can be talked about Alfred. As a start, it replaces your Spotlight search and just like Spotlight, you can launch applications and find files on your Mac or on the web. However, Alfred learns how you use your Mac and prioritizes the results. 
The most I use Alfred is to launch any app that I need, which is perhaps the absolute most effective way to do that. And also to open folders through actions that save me priceless time. For example, sometimes when I insert an SD card, Finder doesn't display them for some stupid reason. So I have to go to my volumes folder to reveal its content. Instead, all I have to do is press command plus option and forward slash and boom, I'm there. Alfred also has clipboard history, which is something that is a must for everyone who uses a computer. Calculations, dictionaries and workflows are just part of the things that can be done with Alfred. So really, it's worth checking out. So if you got to this point, I'd like to give you a bonus free app that I find useful and it's called Hidden Me. This simple app lives again in the menu bar and can hide any messy desktop for when you need to show it off. You could be in a Zoom meeting or you're doing some screen recordings like I do often. This app is your go-to temp magic desktop cleaner. It's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.